Bethard, nothing. Backpedaling, throwing for Smith. He nearly caught it, and then the play was blown up by Nate Gary. But this is going to be a penalty flag as Gary came in very dangerously with forcible contact. But it is a personal foul, so it will be a penalty either way. And forcible contact above the shoulders. I understand Nate Gary's trying to make a play, which he did, but this is likely going to be a targeting penalty that stands against Nate Gary, which would mean an ejection from this game. Mike Davis crosses. Goodwin in space. And he lost it. Marquise Goodwin lowered his head. And he felt that when Carl Joseph, the freshman, put it on him. That's a true. Listen to this. Some hard hitting going on here in Austin, Texas. Back after this. Right now, Gus, in this game, the biggest hits, the biggest blows are being dealt by West Virginia. Their offensive line against. <laughs> Blunt nailing out. That is unconscionable, reprehensible behavior. There's no excuse. No excuse for that. Big Beasley coming from behind and Rowley! Serenade just got ripped up by Robert Smith and the flag is going to come in for the high hit. The couple of touchdown catches tonight I agree with that too That's guys big, yeah I, I think I, I think the helmet of Robert Smith makes contact with Serenay's face mask but the important part is what Doug just said I think the forcible contact is into the chest area right even though helmets do make contact yeah. that is mm -hmm. in and of itself right. targeting. That's it. over 100 yards and sacked this time back to the 15-yard line by Taylor Windham. He got rocked and Tim Tebow is down. Tim Tebow is so looked. Here's what happened. Mark, they're reviewing us to see if he fumbled that football. I don't think he did. But if we watch that again in slow motion, it wasn't the initial hit by Windham. I mean, that's a good lick right there. But watch right there. When he hits the knee of Marcus Gilbert and his head launches for a year ago, and these guys were really aware of that. It is again. Second down uh -oh. play. And a flag. Yep. All kinds of flags. As Atling kept it. Every flag in the building came down. To play. He Atling slides. slides. Uh, there, there's little no, doubt there. No question. Little doubt at all. And, and it's. That's a fair call. What I would say in Redfield, the only defense he has is the kid looked like he was going to go head first, as, and he, at the end he goes feet first, but you got to pull off every time. You have to pull off. On third down, George with time again finds Turner, takes a stick, but he hangs on at the 30-yard line. Duke McGee's yeah. doing some hitting today, I'm, I'm and there's the flag. I was expecting that. That's a head and neck deal. I'm anxious to see how that's going to play out. Watch this again. Second look Personal at this foul. one. Targeting number eight of the defense. 15 yard penalty. That play is under further review. Of course, every targeting call is under further review, but it was head to head contact as we bring in Mike Pereira, our rules. Bell with time, steps up, throws, and he completes the pass to Sterling Shepard who drops the ball, the flag comes out. And this, this is not gonna be pretty. K.J. Morton with the hit, and Shepard is down. Obviously, you're gonna get a targeting penalty here. Mm. K.J. Morton just waiting for him. Remember the targeting penalty. It doesn't have to be the crown of your helmet as a defender, but also if you go high to the neck or head area of a defenseless receiver with any part of your body, that'll draw the...